Welcome to the second in our series of videos on imprint books. It's fall here in Santa Fe, and with the change of season, we, we welcome a lot of new books from publishers. And for this video feature, we decided to focus on Sophie Call's The Address Book. In 1983, conceptual artist and photographer Sophie Call found an address book on the Rue de Martyrs in Paris. She promptly returned the book anonymously, but not before photocopying all of its contents. In late June of that year, she started to approach the owner's acquaintances. She would tell them of the address book, but not reveal the, reveal the owner before the meeting. While some refused, many agreed to meet in person. Call includes much of the contents from the interviews and illustrates the book with reproductions of postcards mailed by Pierre, photos taken during her search, along with photos containing some part of Pierre, the back of his head, his arm, but never his face. She retains the mystery and identity of the man by never including images of his face. Slowly she reveals a man obsessed with film, a dreamer, an Aquarius, in his mid-thirties, and questionably lonely man who loves B-movies, opera, Italy, and Egypt. One acquaintance states, he leaves a deep, deep impression on you. You go for years without seeing him and suddenly you wonder, but where is he? Another says, for him, love is a mission impossible. He's systematically ready to fall in love on the condition that he doesn't stand a chance. He speaks to me about impossible love affairs, but he must have secret ones. Through the words of Pierre D's friends, Call says that she fell in love with the man. She felt guilty, but not enough to stop. She finishes the book with a brief letter of sorts, cutting off the project short of further stalking. Leaving on a train for Rome, embracing a book on the Egyptian pyramids. Pierre D. found out about the project and its publication in Liberation, Mac, New, Liberation newspaper and threatened to sue. For this invasion of privacy, he demanded that a nude photo of Call be published in the paper, a minor act of revenge as Call's nude strip, stripper project had already been shown. Although the series was originally published in the newspaper in August and September of 1983, Call promised Pierre D not to publish the book until after the death, after his death. Here for the first time in print, Siglio Press has reproduced all of Call's evidence modeled after the original object, giving the feeling of peering into the life of Pierre D as Call might have done when she first found and opened the address book. <laughs>